Serious? First of all, I do not want to make fun of Google or any other person, but if they think that the Nangdong tiger defeats the American lion, they are absolutely wrong. The American lion is much heavier, taller, and longer than the Nangdong tiger. It doesn't only apply to the weight. The American lion competes with saber-toothed cats, short-faced bears, dire wolves, and other Pleistocene large carnivorous mammals where the competitors of the Nangdong tiger are not well known. To reach a fair conclusion, we must consider how each big cat survives in its natural habitat, as the American lion and Nangdong tiger live in different parts of the world. So in this video, we'll discuss who would win in a fight, the American lion or the Nangdong tiger. The American lion often referred to as Panthera leoatrox or Panthera atrox, is one of the most formidable lion subspecies that ever existed. This extinct big cat roamed throughout North America during the Pleistocene epoch until about 11,000 years ago. Considerably larger than the modern African lion, the American lion weighed as much as 450 kilograms and measured up to 2.5 meters from head to body with a tail that could add an additional meter. With a robust build and powerful limbs, the American lion was superbly adapted for hunting large prehistoric mammals, such as camelids, giant ground sloths, bison, and even young mammoths and mastodons across the diverse and challenging environments of Ice Age North America. The Ungandong tiger, hailing from what is now Java, Indonesia, lived approximately 1.6 million to 50,000 years ago. It was one of the largest tiger subspecies, with estimated weights of up to 350 kilograms and lengths possibly exceeding 3 meters. The size estimates suggest this tiger was adapted to preying on large Pleistocene megafauna, which included other large mammals like the Stegodon, a prehistoric relative of elephants, Jovan Sambar, Common Sambar, gore, and to a lesser extent also zebu, water buffalo, and banteng. Knowing about each big cat's competitors is also important for understanding who, why, and how they performed in comparison to others. The American lion main big three competitors include saber-toothed cats, smilodon fatales. Saber-toothed cats, particularly smilodon fatales, were robust predators with elongated canine teeth, which they used to deliver powerful bites to the throats of their prey. Similar in size to modern big cats but more muscular, weighing around 160 to 280 kilograms, 350 to 620 pounds. Found in a variety of environments, including grasslands, forests, and shrublands. Primarily hunted large herbivores, such as bison, camels, horses, and possibly young mammoth. Smilodon competed with American lions for large prey, particularly in regions where their habitats overlapped. Their specialized hunting technique allowed them to target large and slow-moving prey, while American lions relied more on speed and endurance. Dire Wolves, Canis Duris Dire wolves were larger and more robust than modern gray wolves, with strong jaws adapted for crushing bone weighed between 60 to 68 kilograms, 132 to 150 pounds. Thrived in diverse habitats, including grasslands, forests, and plains. Hunted large herbivores such as bison, horses, and possibly young mammoths. They also scavenged on carcasses. Dire wolves were pack hunters, which allowed them to take down larger prey through cooperative strategies. 
they competed with American lions for similar prey and scavenging opportunities, and their pack behavior gave them an advantage in numbers. Short-faced bears Arctotus simus Short-faced bears were massive and fast, with long limbs adapted for running. They were both hunters and scavengers. One of the largest terrestrial mammalian carnivores, weighing up to 900 kilograms, 2,000 pounds, and standing 1.5 meters, 5 feet, at the shoulder, inhabited open plains and woodlands. Their diet included large herbivores, and they were also proficient scavengers, often driving other predators away from kills. The sheer size and strength of short-faced bears made them formidable competitors. They likely displaced American lions and other predators from their kills through intimidation and direct conflict. The American lion's primary competitors were large carnivores, each with unique adaptations that allowed them to thrive in the Pleistocene landscapes of North America. These predators often competed for the same prey, leading to intense interspecific interactions. The Nangdong tiger main big three competitors include Stegodin. Stegodin was a genus of large prehistoric elephant-like mammals with long straight tusks. Weighed up to 12,000 kilograms at 26,000 pounds. Lived in a variety of environments including forested regions and open grasslands. Not a predator, but its size and strength made it a formidable presence. As a potential prey item, Stegodin would have been a challenging target due to its size and defensive capabilities. Predation on Stegodin by Ungandong tigers would have been dangerous and required significant energy and strategy, often involving opportunistic hunting of young, sick, or isolated individuals. Crocodiles, Crocodilus porosus. Saltwater crocodiles were, and still are, one of the largest and most aggressive reptiles. They could grow up to 7 meters 23 feet in length and weigh over 1,000 kilograms 2,200 pounds. Their prey included fish, birds, mammals, and occasionally larger prey such as ungulates. Crocodiles shared overlapping territories with ungandong tigers near water sources. They competed for prey and direct confrontations, though rare, could occur at water bodies where both predators hunted and scavenged. Java Tiger Panthera tigris and Deca. The Java Tiger, though smaller than the Ungandon Tiger, was an adept and agile hunter. It weighed around 100 to 140 kilograms, 220 to 310 pounds. Inhabited tropical forests and grasslands of Java hunted medium-sized herbivores such as deer, wild boar, and smaller mammals. While the Ungandong tiger was larger and more powerful, the Java tiger would have competed directly with the Ungandong tiger for prey, especially in denser forested areas. The Ungandong tiger faced competition from various other predators and formidable animals in its environment. These included other large cats like the Java tiger, massive herbivores like Stegodon, intelligent early humans, powerful saltwater crocodiles, and giant reticulated pythons. Each competitor had unique adaptations and strategies that influenced their interactions with the Ungandong tiger. In terms of size, the American lion takes the lead, and when it comes to competitors, the American lion has more tough competitors than the Nangdong tiger. Considering these factors, the American lion is unquestionably more robust and powerful. The American lion's larger size and potential social structure might give it the upper hand in a prolonged struggle, especially in an open environment. However, if the Ngandong tiger could leverage its stealth and deliver a decisive ambush, it could potentially overcome the lion. Therefore, in our analysis, the Nangdong tiger was faster and more agile than the American lion, but the American lion was more powerful and had more fighting experience. The outcome would be highly context-dependent and could go either way. But in the end, 
The American Lion is the winner of this fight. Thanks for watching please, make sure to like share subscribe, and hit that bell notification button, so you can get my videos as soon as possible. This really helps us as a creator.